Shaping Our Appalachian Region recently received a $500,000 grant from the Truist Foundation to connect residents of Kentucky's 54 Appalachian counties to higher paying remote jobs. Kind of what we, what we know uh, in eastern Kentucky and to a source top organizational priority population loss. And, and, and we know that uh, we need more job opportunities for uh, pr prime age, you know, folks that are between 25 and 54, kind of the prime working age. Hillbilly Havoc Weekend of Destruction Demolition Derbies are coming to Pikeville Friday, Saturday, March 29th and 30th, seven each night. Appalachian Wireless Arena, Pikeville. It's gonna be a crashing good time. Be there. According to the press release on the grant, SOAR will use the money to address long-standing challenges faced by communities in rural America. It is no secret that many people, especially young people, are leaving eastern Kentucky in pursuit of higher-paying jobs. With this grant, SOAR hopes to provide rural Kentuckians with higher-paying remote jobs that will encourage them to stay within the area. Before the pandemic, um, across all jobs in, in the country, I think roughly uh, 7 million or so were remote work or 7 million remote workers full-time. And what we know is by 2025, that number is projected to um, almost quintuple or more than quintuple to you know, over 35 million people will be working remotely. We also know that, you know, just looking at like the last year, there were more than 2.5 million jobs posted, job openings in, in remote work jobs. So like we know there's a ton of opportunity out there. The $500,000 provided by the Truist Foundation is sure to help SOAR in their efforts to provide rural Appalachians with excellent benefits and opportunities. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Fidel.